can go ahead and make up some JB Weld. Make up some JB Weld. Put it right in that hole. Right in those holes. And it should be really, really, should be good. Or you can buy new, you know, you know, all kinds of metal epoxies now. But of course, JB Weld. Definitely the, definitely the founder. Basically, you mix the same amount, 15 minutes. Start and I'll bring it back out. And then uh, get it sorts. And then on the other side, I got a, I got some on the top, so it started, so it's sticking. You can see how shiny the sandblast does to it. Okay, and I got to make up some more. Your heat 
setting. It winds up being the exact same way. So I'm staying, staying away from welding. Old, old exhaust. Just I just don't get along. Doing that. Okay. <laughs> I really need a lift. Big hole. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that. Wait for that stuff to dry because I got a nice base on it. You got it covered over. You got a nice, got a nice cover over here. Once it dries, you'll be able to put another, put another layer on top of it if you want. I'm surprised. I thought I thought it was leaking in here, but it was actually <laughs> leaking around the wells for the for the holder. It had nothing to do with the. That so because you're gonna get all your all your uh, spray is basically coming this way. So all right, we'll let that. Let that dry. We'll be back out, and uh, I will uh, put another coat of this on here. And we'll be good. On under here, waiting for the JB well to dry. I got looking at different things under here. And if you've been following me, you know I work on that Chevy Malibu all the time, and. Uh, I've been concerned with the crank and the the crank and the camshaft sensors. Well, look what I found on this. This is a, a 2.4 little four cylinder. There's your front crank sensor on this. Um, we're on the Chevy Malibu's 3.0. It's same place, but it's underneath. 
um, inside the uh, uh, harmonic balancer, which means you got to pull that off. But this one here, it's external. It's on the outside, so there's no problem changing that one. So I'm looking under here and look up here and I see that is the uh, AC compressor and it's green. So that's telling me I got antifreeze, antifreeze leak up top someplace. So to see what I can find there. I'm not sure what this thing is right here. It's some sort of a valve opens up. Um, it might have to do with the uh, heating system going up and as I was coming back here I noticed the, the tra uh, tranny on here I'm gonna uh, I'm right here I'm gonna go ahead and pull that pull that plug there we go. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that plug make sure I got fluid running out of here while I'm under here because I've not done an oil change on this yet I've just been driving it Just did the fluid on the Explorer. Ah, my hands, come on. Stand up. So I'm in here. I decided to do that. Um, I gotta figure out how to change the change the fluid in this transmission because this is a CV. Um, a centrifugal controlled transmission CVT and I don't know what fluid this thing takes yet but everything else runs around here now on the Mercron V or Mercron 5 Now hopefully it's going to run out and I'm not very careful. Yep, yep, yep. And that's an oil, that's not a tranny fluid. So it's probably a, probably a gear oil, which I'm surprised. That's good. It's running out. That's all I care about. <laughs> and it isn't running out the seals. So that's a gear. It's definitely a gear all in there. Very nice. Okay. By somebody else's vehicle, you have no idea who's been servicing it and how, how it's being taken care of. So you got your oil here. Trans, transaxle on this one. I don't know where the drain. The actual drain is. That's definitely a fill, filler. And uh, that's definitely a gear oil. So, because a lot of the, <laughs> a lot of the transmissions are. Uh -oh. Transmission fluid and not, not gear oil.